They call it the Ring of Fire, a fiery loop encircling the Pacific Ocean, where 90% of the world's earthquakes and most volcanic eruptions occur. It's a ticking geological time bomb, stretching across continents, connecting countries through destruction and creation. But which nations live right on the edge of this volatile ring? And why does it matter more than ever today? The Pacific Ring of Fire isn't to just one fault line. It is a massive chain of volcanoes, deep ocean trenches, and seismic zones formed by colliding tectonic plates. It's shaped like a horseshoe, running for over 40,000 kilometers around the Pacific Ocean. Let's take a trip around this dangerous circle. Starting in South America, the ring includes Chile, home to the Andes Mountains and some of the world's strongest quakes. Peru, Ecuador, and Colombia, all sitting on active subduction zones. Moving north, it curves through Central America, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Mexico, where volcanoes rise like ancient sentinels. Across the ocean lies North America, the United States, especially Alaska, California, Oregon, and Washington, and Canada's west coast, where the Cascadia subduction zone silently waits. Then the ring crosses the Pacific toward Asia and Oceania, Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula, known for its explosive volcanoes. Japan, one of the most earthquake-prone nations on Earth. The Philippines, part of a deadly volcanic arc. Indonesia, where hundreds of volcanoes dot the islands, including Krakatoa and Mount Merapi. Taiwan, Papua New Guinea, and New Zealand, all sitting on restless fault lines, Altogether, 25 countries form the Pacific Ring of Fire, each living under the constant threat of earthquakes, eruptions, and tsunamis. And lately, scientists are warning that seismic activity across the ring is increasing simultaneously, from Japan to Chile. Could it be a coincidence? Or the Planet S way of releasing built-up pressure on a global scale? So the next time the ground trembles or the sea pulls back and remember it's all connected, the Ring of Fire isn't just geography. It's Earth reminding us who's really in control.